we go live to Venezuela this time. President Nicolas Maduro met with the Prime Minister of San Vincent of the Grenadines, Ralph Gonzalez. We are watching the arrival of Prime Minister at the Pinafore Plaza where he will hold a meeting with the President of Venezuela. Prime Minister Gonzalez landed at the International Airport today of Maiqueta in La Guaira to be the director of the Select Secretariat. After the visit of the diplomat to the country, the Venezuelan government reaffirmed its commitment to the diplomacy of peace among countries and the search for a multipolar world. We are seeing there how President Maduro received welcomes the Prime Minister St. Vincent and the Grenadines to the Mira Flores Plaza where they will hold a bilateral meeting. Venezuela and St. Vincent and the Grenadines have held relationships of brotherhood for a very long time since, since the time of the commander Hugo Chavez, who had a policy of bringing together the peoples, of working together in the regions. Venezuela and St. Vincent and the Grenadines maintain a close strategic partnership in the areas of energy, trade, tourism and security, as well as a common position in defense of balance and democratic regional integration under the principles of mutual respect and self-determination of the peoples. This brotherly relationship was consolidated, as we were saying, with the arrival of Commander Hugo Chavez who strongly promoted cooperation between both peoples in the energy field through Petrocaribe and in the regional field through CELAC and ALBA-TCP. Let us recall that at the recent seventh summit of heads of states and government of the community of Latin American and Caribbean states, at the end of January, the president of St. Vincent and the Grenadine Ralph Gonzalez assumed the pro-temporary presidency of CELAC 2023. Revista a la agrupación de parada. Hemos observado en este Chávez momento vive. los la patria sigue. militares. Buenas tardes, excelentísimo señor. We are watching the official ceremony for the welcoming of the Prime Minister St. Vincent and the Grandines at the Miraflores Palace. The Prime Minister is being received by a military officials who are performing a, a military stance welcoming, giving the official welcome to the delegate for the high official of the Caribbean. As we were saying today, the Prime Minister Gonzalez led at the International Airport of Maiquetia in La Guaira, together with the Director of the Select Secretariat. We must remember that Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez was assumed the pro temporary presidency of CELAC 2023 in the recent seventh summit of heads of states and government of the community of Latin American and Caribbean states.
Today, Venezuela and the Caribbean nation continue strengthening the brotherly ties of relationship between both countries for the benefit of both peoples. Both nations have maintained a close strategic partnership in different areas, in energy, in trade, in tourism, and security, as well as a common position in defense of balance and democratic regional integration on the principles of mutual respect and self-determination of the peoples. This brotherly relationship was consolidated with the arrival of Commander Hugo Chavez who strongly promoted cooperation between both peoples in the energy field through Petrocaribe and in the regional field through CELAC and ALBA TCP. Gonzalez's last visit to Caracas was in November last year, where he was awarded an, awarded an honorary doctorate degree for his career and married in favor of the emancipation of the peoples. Now the Prime Minister greets all the officials here giving him the welcome to the Miraflores Forest ahead of an important bilateral meeting between these two heads of governments to strengthen the relationship between the plurality people of San Vincent and the Grenadines and Venezuela. St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Venezuela, they both share they both share important bilateral deals to fight to face climate change, to face sanctions imposed by different countries on Venezuela. St. Vincent and the Grenadines have denounced several times that coercive sanctions have many times hinders the development of a, of a nation. In the last CELAC summit, Prime Minister, the Prime Minister, as part of the center topic of the CELAC summit, all members denounced the coercive sanctions imposed on brotherly countries of the region, as Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua, which hinder the development of the people and the well-being of the people of these countries. We are seeing images as both heads of states are entering the palace, the palace of Miraflores, where they will hold an important bilateral meeting to continue deepening and strengthening the relationship between both nations, between St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Venezuela, so together they can work for a better future, work in terms of trade, of energy, of food, of food security, to improve to improve the, the well-being of the people. The strong relationships between St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Venezuela, they go way back to the times of President Hugo Chavez that brought together, that sought to bring together these two people to fight together in the Caribbean to improve the lives of both peoples in terms of in different fields in tourism trade health food security to pro we are now seeing images from abroad from the Miraflora Palace where Prime Minister Gonzalez and President Maduro are set to meet and hold an important bilateral meeting we're watching live the images as Prime Minister Raf Gonzalez was welcomed by President Maduro to the Miraflores Palace, where they will hold an important bilateral meeting to continue strengthening their relationships to the improvement of the both peoples, of the people of South St. Vincent and the Grandines, and the people of Venezuela. We will provide more information on this and many other topics on in upcoming news briefs, so stay tuned with Telesur English.